Bonjour mes amis. Let's draw the Bohr-Rutherford diagram for nitrogen. If you look on the periodic table, you'll find that nitrogen is element number 7, and it has an average atomic mass of about 14. Well, what does that mean for us? It means we have 7 protons. I'm just copying the atomic number as the number of protons, because that's what makes it nitrogen. And the mass number 14, now I'm rounding this to the nearest whole number, minus the number of protons, that's 14 minus 7, gives me the number of neutrons. It happens to be 7 here, but they won't always match like that. I'm going to write down that I have the 7 protons, I'm going to write down that I have the 7 neutrons, and those all go into the nucleus of my atom. I need 7 electrons as well here. This is a neutral atom. They haven't told us that there's any ion thing happening here. So I need the same number of electrons as I have protons. That's seven. I'm allowed to put up to two in the first shell, so I give myself the first shell. I have but one, two electrons, because that's all that can fit in there. The next shell can fit up to eight. Now I only need five more, so the next shell is all I need. I need five here, so I go one, two, three, four, and I like to spread out my singles before I double any up. If that second shell can hold eight, it means I have four pairs. One, two, three, four singles, and then I add my fifth uh, to double up the first electron there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven electrons, donezo. That was pretty easy. Once you get to larger atoms, it's going to get a little more complicated, but hopefully you'll be able to use the same pattern that I did to do your own. Nitrogen's easy, potassium won't be. Best of luck.